A short story by Hugh Thompson Kerr called The Broken Vase. A hundred and fifty years ago there lived in England a great potter. His name was Joshua Wedgwood and the things he made were very, very rare and costly. One day an English nobleman came to see him in his great factory to visit and study the works. One of his employees, a young lad at the age of fifteen, went with the nobleman and explained to him how the work was done. Now this nobleman was a man who didn't believe in God, and while he was smart, yet was very rough in his speech, and used many bad words and made light of sacred things. The boy at first was greatly shocked at the nobleman's wicked words, but after a while he started to change and laughed at his smart remarks. Mr. Wedgwood, who followed them, heard much of the conversation and was very indignant at the way which the mobile men spoke to the boy. When they came back to the office, Mr. Wedgwood picked up a very beautiful vase of the choicest pattern and holding it in his hand, told the nobleman the long and careful way in which it had been made. The nobleman was greatly pleased with the explanation and was very much charmed with the beautiful shape, colour and design of the vase and reached out his hand to take it. Just as he touched it, however, the owner let it fall to the ground and the visitor, uttering an angry word, said, I wanted that one for myself, but now it's ruined by your carelessness. My lord, said the old potter, there are things more precious than any vase things which when ruined can never be restored. I can make another vase like this for you, but you can never give back to the boy who has just left us the simple faith, the pure heart which you have destroyed by making light of sacred things and by using impure words in his presence. Don't you think that that was a good sermon for a great nobleman? I've heard men say that they would give their right arm if they for could forget some of the things they heard when they were boys. Read with me now Proverbs chapter 4 verse 14 and 15. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass it by, turn from it, and pass away. May the Lord bless you. Amen.